which you guys got a quick video here for you on how to remove the Whistler bootkit virus that infects the master boot record and it will infect Windows XP, Vista and Windows 7 okay so this is a Windows XP system as you can see here and I'll quickly show you how to remove it now if you haven't got a Windows CD then you can use this method you can also use Heron's boot CD to rewrite the, the master boot record or, or something like that if you have got a recovery CD or Windows CD you can actually use fixed boot and stuff like that okay so let's get started anyway we're going to be using this tool from eSage Lab we're going to be using the bootkit remover tool and as you can see it disinfects Cinewall, uh, Mebroot and other types of uh, infections now these are really nasty infections because what happens is they infect the system and then also still uh, banking details and commit fraud against you okay so you've got to be very very careful now the bad thing about these is they're stealthed on the system you won't know they're there and you go about your normal day surfing the internet and these are laying in wait for you to log in and uh, and it will get your details off of you okay so let's get started anyway we're going to check master boot record with their uh, MBR check and as you can see it's saying that the physical drive is zero and Windows XP master boot record code has been detected that means it's clean okay so this is the official Windows uh, master boot record what I'm going to do is infect the system and then you'll see this change red and it will give us an infection so let's get started okay so I've got my infection file here this is my infection file and I'm going to run this and the system's going to shut down immediately and reboot and that's because it wants to in, uh, rewrite the master boot record so let's get started on that it's going to wait for shutdown okay so we're getting a, a boot up now okay so let's pull our tools back to the center here so we can see what we're doing and uh, what's happened now is now it's rebooted we're now infected and all sorts of strange stuff will happen you may get pop-ups you may be getting uh, people stealing the details but let's have a little look at the master boot record code and as you can see it's now been changed it says master boot record code has been faked also known as Whistler okay so this is what this type is it's Whistler and I'm going to show you how to remove that now now you need these two tools as I said on the desktop like so and we're going to run this and then we're going to go into number three okay fix master boot record with uh, bootkit remover so I want to type number three push enter and then I want to type number one to fix the master boot record you're going to get a warning sign saying it wants to change this now to zero and also it's going to allow a reboot, immediate reboot. So as soon as I click yes, it will disinfect it and reboot the system. Okay, so it now start to boot up. That should be the actual master boot record back to normal, back to the official Windows version. okay so let's have a check of our master boot record okay what's this one behind oh, it wants to reboot so I'm going to say no to that I will reboot afterwards I'm going to run this now and as you can see the master boot record has been changed back to the official Windows version which is zero and uh, what I would suggest now is uh, run some software like Hitman Pro or something like that just to make sure the system is clean and there's nothing else that's managed to slip through the net and as you can see that's the actual file I used but you can see there is some uh, Windows temp and there's some actual root kits in there there's a few of them there as you can see and I'll just let them get deleted like so and then we'll just finish off by going next and that will be them deleted and then I need to reboot so go next and then reboot
Okay, so this should be the last time we'd have to reboot. Hitman Pro is going to now remove those on reboot. Let this load up. And that's pretty much it. Now I would do some scans with malware bytes and stuff like that just to make sure the system's all clean. But that's pretty much it for this video. I think we've got a nice clean system here. We should have uh, one last check. And as you can see it's still clean. So I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos please remember guys show your support. Hit that subscribe button. Also if you enjoy my videos please remember rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoy them. It just helps me get a bit more exposure and then I'm going to bring you more videos. So thanks again for watching guys. Thanks a lot for your support there. Uh, bye for now.